Hello, welcome to Crabler Present Submit Editions. And today we are going to explore the mythical destinations in Philippine. Philippine is a beautiful country filled with exotic beach, beautiful forests, and also delicacies. But did you know the mythical destinations in this beautiful country? The places behind the mystic fox, the unfound place that many have heard of. And today, we are going to uncover the layer of this medical destinations and let's walk through this journey together. First, let us fly to Hidden City on Panay Island. The Philippines is made up of 7,641 islands, each with its own unique characters and histories. Many of these islands also home to mystical stories and legend, and one of them is the Panay Island. Panay Island is famous for its sunshine and beaches. But did you know that there is a hidden city hiding in between Dumar Rao in Capiz and Pasi in Iloilo? Legend has it that this city looked like grand metropolis with tall buildings and wide streets, and the city was surrounded by a high wall. Some might say this was a true story and happened in the 1900s when wars happened between Spanish and Americans and then Philippines with Americans. Modern developments often stalled during wars and in 2023, people need to learn about this part of history again. Skyscrapers were not as common in the past as they are today. So the engineers claim to have seen a modern metropolis is especially intriguing. Artists who have stumbled across these regions also claim to have found a hidden passage that leads to a beautiful city built with steel and glass, as well as a beautiful waterfall. But there's not all of it. What's even intriguing that this city actually is built and lived by a tribe called Tumau in Philippines. There's rarely any ancient texts about Tumau, but word of mouth is widespread across the Philippines. It was said to Mao was ancient and advanced royal nobility with the knowledge of magic and technology. To Mao was often described as tall and slender, with fair skin and long flowing hair. Their eyes are either blue or green, and they have a slight Mongolian appearance. This description is oddly uh, specific and it makes them sound strange. There are several stories and several versions about uh, the hidden city in Pane Island and also Tumau, but we are going to talk about one which I find is fairly interesting. The story goes like this. In 1905, that's one engineer from Philippine Railway Company Inns was surveying the area when he was spoke by a man who came out of nowhere in the middle of forest. The man asked him to unroute the railway system to avoid Tumau City, but the engineer thought he was joking and brushing off because there's no city in the middle of the forest. However, the man took the engineer to the city, which was even more magnificent than he had imagined. The man told him that the city is invisible to outsiders, but he showed it to the engineer as a gesture of friendship. The engineer never forgot what he had seen, and he told his story to many people. The story of Tumau has been passed down through the generations. There is a lot of theory about this hidden city of Panay Island, but I found one especially fascinating, um, which is on Aswan Project website. If you're interested, you may go, go and have a look. So according to Aswan Project, um, the hidden city of Tumor Tribe is under a magic spell to be hidden from the public. But for me, it's more like the Wakanda um, from Black Panda movie or like Jujutsu Kaisen domain expansions. Nevertheless, the concept or the theory couldn't be materialized because until now, nobody able to find this hidden city of Pane Island. There is still a lot of hidden city and also mythical uh, destinations in Philippines, but we're going to wait until the next episode. Thank you for watching. So guys, if you like this channel, if you like this topic, do subscribe me. If you like this video, give me a like. I'm going to see you again next week or next two weeks. Uh, I've been busy with some stuff. So thank you for your understanding. Bye.